Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Question says, Can I wear leather shoes without knowing if it's leather made of pig skin or cow skin, etc.? And is my salah valid in it? So when it comes to leather shoes, if it's made from pig skin, then of course pig skin is impure and it can never be purified, even through the process of tanning. And so if you want to pray in pig, in pig skin, uh, then your salah will be invalid because you're wearing something which is impure. So, of course, if you are unaware that it's pig skin, so you're just wearing leather shoes not knowing it's pig skin and you prayed in it, then that salah will still be deemed valid. And you won't, have to, you won't be asked to repeat it. According to the more correct opinion. That's point number one. Point number two is that you must take care when it comes to the salah. And try to remove as many doubts away from the salah as possible. So when it comes to leather shoes, if you don't know if it's made from pig skin or, or cow skin, then take it off. Don't wear it when you're in the state of salah. Okay? That's the safest uh, view. As for wearing leather shoes outside of the salah made from pig skin, then this falls under the mess of, am I allowed to... Uh, come into direct contact with impure substances outside of the prayer is that allowed or not and there is khilaf on this issue and Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned that if there is a hajj if there is a need to wear it then there is no problem in wearing it if there is a necessity or a need and if there is no need then there is no need and many companies today I believe when they sell leather shoes or anything like that they tell you where the leather comes from so you can do some research find out where the leather comes from if it comes from pig skin, then don't buy it. And if it comes from cow skin or other skin that can be purified through the process of tanning, then you can buy it and use it. Allah ta'ala. Adam.